This episode of Techno Buffalo is brought to you by Harry's. What's up everyone? Welcome back to the episode of Ask the Buffalo. I sit here in this chair as a humble buffalo and I've got questions that I'm going to try and answer for you. Up this week we're going to talk about self-driving cars. I don't know why I'm doing this because you're not going to be doing that. We're going to talk about BlackBerry, the Surface Pro 3 and ALG G3 Google Play Edition. I call them GPs. GP. This is Ask the Buffalo. Let's start asking the buffalo. First question comes from our good friend at Tech Mob Reviews who asks at John Four Lakers. Hey John, hi. What are your thoughts on Google self-driving car? So I've got a couple thoughts on it. First, it is super ugly, like really, really ugly. I mean, we're not talking like some original Mini Cooper kind of styling. We're just talking like just ugly cars. So here's the deal with the self-driving car. We've seen self-driving cars from Google that have been based on the Prius, based on the Lexus RX. This one is totally new. And the weird thing about it, it does not have a steering wheel and it doesn't have a gas and brake pedal, which is really weird. And so taking the human totally out of the equation. Previous self-driving cars, you could take control of the wheel if you saw it doing something strange. You'd be like, no car, don't hit the pedestrians. Uh, but now that is not there anymore. So before you freak out, know that it's got a top speed of 25 miles per hour, so you're not gonna be going on the freeway with it. Uh, it's got a 200 degree range of view that it can see and it's relying totally on sensors. And I get it. I know this is coming. I know this is the future of driving, whether we like it or not. So I'm not gonna be like the old Codger guy who's like, no, shell driving cars. We can't have them back in my day. We had to put our hands on the steering wheel and push a gas pedal. So listen, I know it's coming, but it still freaks me out that I don't have the option to turn the wheel if I see something wrong happening. This is for the people that just wanna hop in their car, take a nap and wake up at work which is very weird. But I know with paradigm shifts, there are always gonna be people that are gonna resist it. So we're looking at the future. Like it or not, this is the future of cars. Uh, and I guess some days when I'm tired, I'm excited about it, but some days it makes me really, really nervous. But the plus side of this, and this is a giant plus side, something like this becomes standard, you can say goodbye to traffic. If you think about it, traffic doesn't make any sense. There's a set amount of road of cars keep moving on it and going off and getting off the freeway and changing lanes forever. Traffic should always be moving. It's the people that cause problems, people that slow down, people that look left or right. So if it gets rid of traffic, I'm willing to let go of the steering wheel. To, cause have you ever had to drive from to LA or drive LA traffic or traffic in whatever big city you live in? It is really bad and it sucks. So that's before I've said it again. Don't be a Ron, Ron sits in traffic. So if you are for self-driving cars, you cannot be a Ron and uh, it's coming. What do you guys think? Are you for it, not for it? I'd love to hear your thoughts on it. Let's talk about a subject that's been around for quite a while, the folks at BlackBerry. This comes from Twitter, at meyackle 94 asks at john 4 linkers what do you think the future for BlackBerry is? And listen, BlackBerry fans are gonna jump down my throat for this and I'm sorry for saying it, but I gotta be honest. I think the future for BlackBerry uh, is gonna be two parts. I think they're going to spin off BBM to its own company, which I certainly makes a lot of sense for them. There's a lot of value behind messaging programs. I think BBM is actually really, really good, but the hardware side of it is sucking money out of that company. Uh, so from a business standpoint, you take all of your emotions about like loving BlackBerry and loving BB10 and the new BB10 can run Android apps. I know all that stuff. Uh, it is a losing proposition for BlackBerry. They've just missed the market. I would say that they are parts that makes the hardware is gonna be sold off for patents and parts. And it's sort of a very sad thing to say. I was a big BlackBerry fan and I still am. Um, but I would say the only thing we're gonna have left is going to just be BBM. And that's sort of where the BlackBerry name is going to live on. I know it's gonna make you guys mad, but I'd love to hear your thoughts on it. Leave it in the comments down below. Let's talk a little bit about the Surface. This comes from at MSLeaks who asks, at John for Lakers. Hey John, do you think I should upgrade my Surface Pro 256 gigabytes to the new Surface Pro 3 i7? I use it for Avid and Visual Studio as the B. So first, if you're using the Surface Pro 2 for that, I mean, you're not, you don't have to really use a dedicated video card. I would absolutely, without a shadow of a doubt, upgrade the Surface Pro 3. Usually I recommend sort of skipping each upgrade. Imagine go every other one. So original Surface Pro, Surface Pro 3 be the way to go. There's such a big difference between the two and the three. Uh, it's like night and day. You'll see in our review of the Surface Pro 3, uh, it's a pretty incredible device. And I think it's the best that Windows 8 has to offer. So I would wholeheartedly say upgrade, although you might want to skip the i7 version and go for the i5. It seems to be a nice middle ground. Uh, you're not gonna get that much performance difference, um, at least in my opinion. Uh, 
Um, but yes, absolutely, it would make sense to do the upgrade. Stop the questions for just one second. You guys have got to know me over the years. There's a lot of things I like. I enjoy candy. I enjoy long walks on the beach, and there are things I don't enjoy. And if you look at my face, you can probably guess what one of them is. I really, really don't like shaving. It's a pain. You go to the store, you shell out a ton of money, you get like razors that barely last, makes your face hurt and red, and just don't enjoy it. But there might be an answer to that razor woe, and it is Harry's. So what Harry's are gonna do, it's kind of a new take on getting razors. First, they're shipped to your door, so you don't have to worry about leaving the house, which sometimes I like. You can do it in your robe. You can't go to the store in your robe. People are gonna look at you crazy eyed like this. So it's got the look and feel of a really quality product. That's because it is a quality product. So Harry's is brand new. It's less than one year old and it's already disrupting the shaving industry, offering a better shaving experience at better value than the giant behemoths like Schick and Gillette. The company makes amazing German engineered blades and they care so much about the quality of the shave, they just purchased the 93 year old German factory that freaking makes them. So if you want to check out Harry's and make your life easier for you and save a ton of money, go to harrys.com, use promo code TECHNO and save $5 off your first purchase. Uh, 15 bucks is getting you a set that includes a handle, three blades, shave cream, and shipped right to your door. They're even gonna offer a custom engraving option to engrave your initials on your razor. So everybody's gonna know it's gonna be yours. So if your wife or girlfriend wants to use your razor in the shower to shave things that maybe you don't want her using the razor that goes on your face for, you can be like, no, it's got my initials on it. Don't use that. So go ahead and check out the folks at Harry's. Next question comes from at Noyello, who asks at John for Lakers, any rumors of an LG G3 Google Play edition? Nope, no rumors, that sucks. I love GP devices, but software is so ensconced in the G3 that I don't think we're ever gonna see it. If you want a GPE a device, you're gonna be stuck, and I say stuck, like it's a bad situation, uh, with either a Galaxy S5 or an HTC One M8, both of good options. Uh, but I would not hold your breath at all uh, for a G3. What you might hold your breath for though is a Nexus 6, perhaps based on the LG G3, which should be a pretty sweet phone. Uh, but I do not think we're going to see any GPE edition. So sorry for that. Thank you guys for watching the episode of Ask the Buffalo. I hope you enjoyed. Until next time, I'm John Renger from Techno and Buffalo. If you want a question to be featured on an upcoming episode of the show every Tuesday, put a call for questions up on technobuffalo.com. You can just leave them in the comments or send it to me on Twitter at John for Lakers or at Techno Buffalo. Ask your question. Just use the hashtag AskTheB. I'm the B. Sometimes people call me a B. And it sucks, but I get used to it. Um, but anyway, thank you guys, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye. Thank you guys for watching. If you haven't yet, please subscribe. We'll be the first one to know whenever we upload new content. We've got new stuff coming every single day. We want to make sure you see what's new in the world of consumer electronics.